I think that she's stupid. Hey, Kate, is there something that you might want to apologize for? Like what? You want to apologize for calling her dumb? You are stupid and you are dumb. Hey, Couture Bays, it's your girl, Bripa, going live with the Breed Talk and Bay Squad. We got to talk about DDG exposing his baby mama and Tamar confirming the assault. But before we get started, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Everything we say here is allegedly and for entertainment purposes solely. So sit back, relax, sip you some apple juice or my fifth of water, and let's get into the mess, shall we? Child, at this point, Holly, you made your bed. I hope you lie in it. And DDG, why are you exposing your girlfriend if she doesn't want the world to know she's pregnant with your child? Oh, that's right, because you don't like her for real. You don't like her for real. This is giving me Kiki 2.0, but what do I know? He's been telling us since April, and all the girls who've been like, she can hide her pregnancy are stuck on stupid. When we told y'all this man is going to ruin her. But y'all see in the end, because I told y'all I've been spot on. Let's get into Tay. Tamar finally admitting the tea that happened on Saturday. Crazy. Let me take this off. <laughs> Not that my headband looks any better, but um, I wasn't going to say anything out of respect for James and his trauma and what happened um, to him. And when I say what happened to him, he got assaulted um, at my show. Um, and... And it was by Krishan, but um, there was a lot of events that I believe were misconstrued. And so while I'm not going to set out the time and clear every little thing up for everyone, I, I want you to know um, the reason why I decided to say something. Um, number one, I care about my team. They're all of my friends. And we put this all together for the fans. Um, I'm not a clout chaser. I don't. I don't need that. Like my circle is this small. You know, I um, don't have to sell tickets for. You know, like oh, I need to sell tickets. Let me do this. That other. This show has been sold out for a month. Um, I didn't have an opening act. I knew. I didn't need an opening neck because I knew my sister was coming in the middle of the show. Um, and, you know, when you're in different cities, you invite different people. Um, and Krishan was definitely someone that I invited, someone that I, I actually, you know, looked at from afar as like a, a younger sister. She's from Baltimore. Um, I knew that she was rowdy. You know, I, I didn't judge her because of that. You know, I felt for her on, on so many occasions. And I just felt like, oh, this was somebody I wanted to meet to, you know, possibly take under my wing. Because, you know, everybody knows that I don't have the best. I don't have the best pass. I'm sorry. I have a filter. I washed my face. I look crazy. Okay. Um, you know, and in my journey of being a better person, I wanted people to, you know, accept me for the new person that I was and the only way that they could do that is if I was given an opportunity and so that's really all it was um I didn't call her and be like oh come on and perform on my show um I already knew Tony was planning to perform here at this LA show um she had sent me her number a while ago on a DM and I reached out to her. I um, like I said before, like we all have, you know, Christiana is like a little sister to all of us watching her and then watch her make mistakes. We want to help. We want to help. And this is what this Love and War tour has been about. Um, and so we put everybody around. They said, y'all wouldn't stand up. And so we got you this cake, this Love and War cake. We're so proud of you that you believe in yourself and that uh, you don't let anybody hold you down. They got pineapple in. And so, y'all ain't never been to Tamar's house, but I have. And there's something that's missing at her house on her walls. And so, as successful as she's been, she doesn't have any gold or platinum plaques in her house. Child, at this point, Krishan Jr. just has idiots for parents, baby. 
file the police report. You should be filing. James should be filing. Not the promoter who you unfriended being messy. Like Tamar, it shouldn't have taken you days to speak out. This woman is violent. She needs help. She needs to take accountability. Okay? Giving stunts and all type of stuff. But what are y'all thoughts on this base squad? What are your opinions? Comment down below. I gotta go. Bye, hoes.